Good morning, everyone. You got a mask? Snowman mask? I see you. <laughs> I see you too. Did you just go to the doctor's office? For Jacob? No. No? That's a lie. He totally did. We have a wildly busy next few days. And today started off very early and very quick and like it was go, go, go. Jacob just got his immunotherapy shots at the allergist, and now we're gonna rush home because Jessica and I. Hey, my food. You, what? I want the food. You want food? Yeah. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Breakfast and milk. Did you have oatmeal also? Yeah. Yeah. He had blueberries, oatmeal, and milk combined together. How did getting shots today go, Jake? Um, okay. Yeah? Yeah. We have to get home right now so that we can do Advent in time for Jessica and I to go to Los Angeles for a meeting at the Google offices, YouTube. Never been there before, so I'm excited to see it. Anyway, uh, we, we gotta get moving. So uh, thanks for joining us today and enjoy our, our very busy day. Oh boy, it's Advent time. <laughs> Nice. That's a cool song. Did you make that up? Yes. I like it. Nice. Advent, Advent, Advent. Look what you've done for Advent, Advent, Advent. Turn down the fun. Advent. Ooh, that's a big finish. That's a big finish. Oh, wow. It's getting bigger. I think we're going to start with Teddy first again. <laughs> and then we're going to have Luffy pick out somebody's and have somebody else go because I want him to also work on sharing and giving and not just focusing on mine, mine, mine. Right? Yeah. Right there. Oh, it's Christmas tree. A Christmas tree. So today's gonna be day number. <laughs> he knows what to do. He's going for it. Oh, he <laughs> did it. What is it, Teddy? What is it? Oh, what could it be? Can you take it out? Yeah, what's this? Can you get it? Get it. Get it. Here you go. Can you find it? What is it? Okay. Where'd it go? Oh my goodness, it's a little pig. Teddy likes the box more than the toy. Uh -oh. Can you have fun with the box? Abba, here you go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. You're gonna pick out an advent calendar to give to somebody else, okay? It's not Luke's turn to open, it's Luke's turn to give, okay? Do okay. you have an idea which one you're gonna pick? Okay. <laughs> oh, oopsies. This one, this one's Luke's. Oopsies, one's Someone Luke's. will give you that one later. Can you pick one of the other ones? You can you pick somebody out to give? I think he wants mommy's. Yeah. Oh, oh, Bailey's Bailey's. game one. This is out of order. Luke picked this for Bailey, but Bailey's actually on this advent calendar, so she's gonna go next. Here, give that to Bailey. I'm, I'm holding it because <laughs> I wanted to open up on it. Good job, Luke. Oh, that was such good giving. Thank you. Let's see what Bailey finds. Number mm. two. It smells good. Yeah, it smells like tea. Yeah, it smells really good. I think it's tea. I think it's like a like, refresher tea. smeller thingy. Is that your measure? Like a potpourri? 
Oh, earrings. <laughs> Mushroom yeah. earrings. Okay, it's Bailey's turn to choose whose advent calendar's next. Oh. Okay. I'm excited about this. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Who is it? I don't know because I have a team off. <laughs> Oh, it's Jim. It's Jim. <laughs> yes. Oh. 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 So you're looking for that number all by itself. Hmm. You found it! I found it! Ah! <gasps> what is this? It's kind of tricky. Sometimes you have to... It, getting it out is kind of hard, huh? <laughs> Here you go. Can you say Dolores? Yeah, Dolores. Hello. I like your mushroom earrings. Thank you. They're so pretty. Okay, go pick out another one, Luke. You need to pick out another one. Whoop, hi, Big one. A big one? A big one. Which one are you going to pick? The Ruth, the elf one? Can you just show one to a person? You want this one or this one? This one? For me? Oh, thank you. Okay, day two. It's got little like bears on it or something. So this one, this one is called Shui Yuar Na from Myanmar. It's got hints of dark chocolate and orange. Excited to Ooh, try that later. Dark chocolate. You love dark chocolate. I do love dark chocolate. Dad. I am going to choose Duncan this time. Aww. And Duncan decorated his box last night. It's looking pretty good. I decorated some of this today. So we haven't mixed up the envelopes yet. That one? What are you building today, Duncan? A gingerbread house. Ooh, ooh. Oh boy. Are you gonna build the rest of it right now? Yeah. Okay, first, pick out another advent calendar for somebody else that hasn't gone yet today. Ooh. Oh, Parker! Ooh, it's so neat. Oh, it's kind of easy. I'm guessing this one's Thanos, but huh? yeah. No! Oh my gosh! It's it's a him, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's him! It's him! It's Captain America! As a gingerbread man. No, it's Thor as a gingerbread man! Plot <laughs> <laughs> <Flat> twist! <laughs> I like his um I like his I like his hammer. Hammer, yeah. It looks like it's made of like Oh. Rock candy or I something? Really, I really like the design of this one. Yeah, and how that the, one's like, great. The head is like, you can see a lot of movement in it. Mommy. Oh. Aww. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a Christmas tree on mommy. This is a quote by Im Yunji Dang. Though I am a woman still, the nature I originally received contains no distinction between male or female. I think she's pointing out you kind of get taught male and female distinctions sometimes. The tea today is blood orange tea. We so. both have notes of orange. Hints of orange. We will have to have our little coffee and tea date a little bit later today. Hopefully not too late because I'm guessing that mine's a black tea and I'm assuming yours is caffeinated. Uh -huh. but. 
we'll probably still need it. Yeah. Okay. Rue, she, she's playing with her Home, home Alone, alone again? Yeah. You love that toy. She loves Home Alone. Do you want to help give her a treat? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Rue is very alert at the moment. I think number two is my favorite. Oh, me too. Why? Because it's long? Because it's got the narwhal. Oh. Bye, buddy. Oh, there are lots of treats in there. What? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. This, this should be 24. Oh, my goodness. A feast. She's not so, not interested. No, she's going. Oh, she's going. Good girl, bro. Oh. <laughs> kind of tricky. Maybe she's sharing. <laughs> I'm sure Luke would love that. Love you, Roo Roo. <laughs> oh, you finished? That was quick. Look at that. I love it. That's going to look so good on our Christmas tree when we get one. Yay! Yay! Because it's got the sparkles. Yay! It's got the sparkles. It does have the sparkles. Happy day! Happy day! Happy day, Happy day to Advent, everyone. Duncan to go to class. Go zoom, zoom, go quick. And Christopher and I have somewhere very special to go to, so let's go. So it is a rainy day in LA, which usually means that <laughs> nobody can drive. But I think the traffic's kind of moving along. I haven't seen any accidents, which is wonderful. Christopher and I actually have a meeting at the YouTube offices, and I'm really excited. I've never been there before. This is really cool for us, and it's just us. So anytime anything is just us, or even if it's like just us with like one or two kids, we're like, this is a date. We'll so call it a this date is if a we date. Call six. <laughs> yeah, we'll call that's it true. A date. We'll, that's we'll true. Take it. And I just want to say I love a nice, cozy, rainy day. We've got the heater on in the car, which is my dream. This was a really well planned date, Christopher. Good job. I, I always plan the best ones. Yes, he's really set the mood and the ambiance is lovely. And the only thing I'm kind of bummed about is I'm kind of losing my voice and I think Christopher is too. We aren't sick, we both feel good, but we were sick a couple of weeks ago and I think we have this like residual laryngitis that's kind of popping in and out. So it's kind of far because I was really looking forward to chatting it up on this date and I'm hoping that I still can. We are meeting with our partner manager at YouTube and I love him and we have such a good time chatting together. So I was really looking forward to talking a lot with him and I'm hoping that my voice doesn't completely give out. I think it's okay. I just can kind of hear it a little bit. So anyway, we are almost there and Faith is with the kids. We didn't just leave them. Jacob is actually doing most of his day with a friend. So they are at the library studying and doing their schoolwork. After that, he's gonna do like one last push with his Lego robotics group because tomorrow is his big competition day. So they're like tuning everything up or like, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing ever, but they're making their robots work. And then there's some gymnastics going on today and there's their stuff, but Faith is with the kids helping them through that today. Okay, so we made it to YouTube. We are here and it is so cool. We are, this is like a photo opportunity, I guess. There's also like a museum over here because we're in an airplane hangar from days of yore. This was the Spruce Goose airplane hangar. I think it's actually still called the Spruce Goose airplane hangar. And there's all this information about Howard Hughes and the history and there are artifacts. <laughs> so that's what you can expect if you ever come to YouTube. This one is gorgeous. Look at that. Just hang out in color. It's good vibes. It yeah. matches your sweater right now. It does. We should do something. You look like you belong here. Ooh, that looks great. This is really cool. It's beautiful. Look at how 
giant this is. This is all wood. And it's, look, on both sides of me, like everywhere, we have this incredible wooden structure. And apparently, this was one of the largest wooden structures. The largest. The largest? Yes, the largest. Yeah. This, so this was the largest wooden structure in the Western Hemisphere. The Spruce Goose was something that Howard Hughes made during World War II. It was this giant airplane made of wood, and they were trying to be innovative because they didn't have access to steel and other metals. So this was what housed it. Anyway, so we are learning a lot today over here at YouTube. If you know any history about this or know anything about the Spruce Goose, please comment about it and educate us because we want to learn all about it. It's so cool. So all of the conference rooms here have themes and it's so cool because they, they <laughs> like the rooms themselves are so interesting and then they're named in a cute way. So I'm going to show you Quaffle. Before I do, see if you can guess what the theme is for this conference room. So put it in the comments. Don't look, no cheating, pause. See if you can guess what this room's gonna be based on. This is a whole Harry Potter conference room, meeting room, and it's so cool. There's there's a lot to look at. I feel like maybe maybe it's a positive distraction, like you're kind of doing something and then taking it at the same time for some brains who need that. There is a lot of exciting stuff and little like Easter eggs, little nuanced like hints towards anybody in the Harry Potter fandom. This is really cool. I am actually really sad that Bailey and the other kids aren't seeing this because they would love this. And I know Bailey would know every single detail and what it all means. And she could have taught me something here today. But actually, is that an egg? Is that an it actual like egg? egg? This is all just for Bailey right now. And so she can teach me things. She's gonna know the meaning of everything here. There's the snitch. It's too tall for me, Christopher. I need you. Do, do you actually? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So the Marauder's map here has a map of Playa Vista, which is where we are. And then there's a scavenger hunt here that says like floor two. And apparently you can actually find these things on the various floors. This is really cool. I have never seen any of this. I've never seen a video of this or pictures or anything. Like this is all new and totally unexpected to me. So we have entered the game room. This is really cool. Oh my, look, even just the seating is cool. Like, the seating is cool. And then there are really cool games here. Look at this. We got some classics. <laughs> These are giant. I like that it's communal. I'm getting old school over here. And then lots of delicious water and snacks. Who's ball? And there's ping pong too, but people are playing it right now, so I don't want to bother them, but it's very fun and very cool. Christopher found a guitar. I did. Look at this room. This is gorgeous. This is a nice guitar. You happy? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I would seriously be here for hours. I can't I can't do it. Okay, this one's super cute. Get ready for this. <laughs> Look at that! How cool is this? And this, this was my first phone. This is the one with the ringtone. Oh my goodness. I have not seen that phone in like 20 years. This is where our Vlogmas song comes from. This phone had a ringtone called Christmas that went dun 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 dun. Dun 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 and it was so ridiculous that it was called Christmas because it had no like it wasn't in the realm of Christmas at all. So I made up a Christmas song to it and that's that's our Vlogmas jingle. Like it it's from this and it also had happy birthday, which went it was like you go to you're like, oh what's the ringtone gonna be for happy birthday? You'd assume the obvious, right? But no, it was dun 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 So we also made a happy birthday song and it is all based on this phone. Like this is wild to see this. That was my that was like my original cell phone from being old. Okay, so that was super cool. Super I, cool. I didn't know what to expect. I knew we were having like a lunch meeting. We went to lunch. The food was amazing. Really good. And it was all you can eat buffet. And we <laughs> ate a lot. Which is like my favorite thing. It was great. I ha have we been to a buffet since COVID? 
No, but it seemed like a very safe buffet. I do want to say that. You know what? When we were at the Great Wolf Lodge, they had a little like, like breakfast, hotel yeah, breakfast, breakfast buffet. Yeah, breakfast buffet. Yeah. It was very basic. Yeah. And this was nice. Like I was like, I feel like I'm in Las Vegas. It was such. The whole thing was such a mix of like YouTube culture, which like we've we've been in for a long time. So like talking shop and stuff was like a lot of fun, and then history because the building that they're in is this iconic hangar from Howard Hughes when he built that giant wooden airplane. And I feel like I vaguely remember hearing about this airplane. What was it? When that I movie? was in history in like seventh grade. I don't even know if I remember it from the movie. I have complete I saw that movie, The Aviator. Yeah. Don't remember it at all. Oh, I thought it was a fun it was a fun movie. I just don't remember it. Good old Leo. Know. I love Leonardo DiCaprio and his movies are often great. He's a great actor. But I think I'm at a point in my life where I see a movie and like most of the time just forget it like within a week. Okay. Well anyway. <laughs> Which is nice because I can watch them again and I'm still surprised. They they really paid like homage to that whole thing. Like they they had little museum is it homage exhibits. Or is it homage? Homage, homage, <laughs> homage. Yeah, it's definitely, it's homage. Yeah. They paid homage. <laughs> they really tried to retain the history and to be able to educate it and further that information instead of just like turn it into a, a, an office building. There were all these little alcove little areas that were either artistically like designed or like a museum piece with like actual artifacts in it and, and information and like signs with information on it and they also had little easter eggs where it was like yeah that was from the original building that's why it looks a little different there was like uh, I'm sorry, I I'm gonna have to geek out for a second. They had an installation that was, when you look up, it's just like all these balls on strings. But then you go to one point in the room and look at all those balls and they make the ghost of, of the spruce goose. I really appreciate that. I think that that's almost a new thing. Like we've had so much history in our world of sort of like tearing down or covering up and rebuilding. And it's neat to see this generation that we're in where it's like, oh, we really shouldn't do that. We need to like retain the history of these things and try our best to remember and honor or learn from things yeah. instead of just it felt, replacing them. It felt updated in a classic environment. Like yeah. it was, it, it is a tech company, you know, but it was like, let's not forget what this used to be and, and really like remember where we came from. Because even like Howard Hughes was like an innovator for his time, you know? And just like, it was also great to see our manager because I love yes. him. Yeah. Like, I honestly could have talked to him the whole day and just hung out and chatted and both like just casual chat and stuff about YouTube that nobody else can really relate to, like just the backside of YouTube and how it functions. And I talk with him casually, like just really fun. Like we can chat about anything like pop culture and just things that we enjoy. Like we have a lot of in common and he's really cool and fun. But then also he knows about this little world that we're a part of. And I love talking about how like as YouTubers, both content creators, but also like YouTube on the whole can make a uh, positive influence in the world and like how we can do that and and kind of like troubleshoot things that are going on that's like gosh maybe that's not going in a great direction like how can we pivot and help make this a place that's that creates positive change it's just great talking to him and, and we met some other people who have kind of been on our radar but we've never really like had that much interaction with and i'm so glad that we got this chance to go on this date i know it was so nice <laughs> so we had a lunch and um and yeah it was really nice let's head home yeah i miss our, our kids. kids i miss our kids did you miss mommy i love you and tanny miss me You're a blueberry stroller? He wants to go to the blueberry store. Oh, you want to go to the blueberry store? I love you, teddy bear. Look at these big boys. They're just walking. Feels good to be home, huh? Yeah, it feels good to be. It's Friday night movie night. Yes. Let's do this. So, since it's pizza movie night, this is date number two for us. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy our advent beverages. I have, uh, mine has 
citrus notes, apparently. And yours also citrus notes? <laughs> yeah, orange. But I feel like mine isn't done steeping. Not done yet? Mine's, hot mine's a very light, light roast, it feels like. So end of a long day and the beginning of a very long weekend. Yes. So Christopher and I, between working and parenting, we're going to bed around like 2.30 or 3 every night and waking up around 6.30 every morning. So I feel like maybe I'm just not getting enough sleep because I feel fine. My voice is just going away. The weather's also changed here. Like it was, it was really dry hot and now it's like very wet cold. Rue's doing some overlapping again. Yeah, who loves she, to come drink water whenever we're having our tea time. She joins in, she's one of the, one of us. I mean, this one, again, I, I feel like I did wait enough for it to steep, but it really doesn't look that dark either. I can't remember the brand of orange black tea that's really common. I think it's maybe Stash. So yeah, I don't know what the tea is, but there is a very common, like you see it at hotels a lot, um, orange tea, and they also make a lemon lift. That tea is, is better than this tea. So, but you don't get a cool quote from a, a notable female. That's true. Yeah. Well, and I feel like the tea yesterday was pretty good, but it was also not super strong. And I like a strong tea. So um, maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's just me because I think some people don't like their tea as strong. And I think that this is probably, maybe this is just a proper brew. Maybe it's the right amount to have. And I like to <laughs> have really strong teas. You like strong, not over steeped. Mm -hmm. There's a difference that I didn't even know about. I don't drink tea. I had to learn so. about that too, because over steep, the tea leaves become bitter and the flavor can really change. And this flavor is nice. It's just like, not enough. Let's try the coffee. How is it? My favorite? It's fine. Okay. Not as good as yesterday. Yesterday was was in a different ballpark, I feel like. This one is good. There's certain coffee where people go like, this is really good coffee, and I drink it, and I go like, um, it's not my, my favorite kind of coffee. Yeah. And that's maybe what this is. Like, yeah. maybe I brewed it incorrectly or something like that. I always blame myself. But like, well, I feel like you also like, you don't like the lighter roast that some people like. You're the same as me. Like you like some, like it's strong. Yeah. Generally, you can take it without milk or without sugar, and you still enjoy it. Whereas some people, that would like be the worst thing they could do. Right? Yeah, yeah. But even then, like when sometimes when a coffee is really good, it could be even a really light roast, mm -hmm. and I can tell. Like I'll drink it, I'll be like, oh, this is, this is really good. Like I. I enjoy this even more than like a mediocre dark roast. You know what I mean? Yeah. This to me, it just kind of tastes like it's kind of average coffee. Kind of similar for me. Still appreciate it. Still enjoying the date. <laughs> what are they watching? It what sounds you, like Enchanted. What, is it Enchanted? Are you guys watching Enchanted? Yeah. The first one? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We do have to go pick up Parker because he, this is his last gymnastics before his big competition. Ooh. It's gonna be an interesting weekend. And then obviously before all that is Jacob doing his robot thing. I'm excited about that. Which is very cool and exciting and that happens tomorrow. Hi, let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that when we start our advent calendars, there's a good chance we're gonna break out into a musical number. We learned that Jessica and I will take any opportunity to call time together a date. And finally, we learned that the origin of our Vlogmas intro jingle has been immortalized and suspended in time in the anti-gravity room at the YouTube LA offices. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.